guys, you know, five years ago, seven years ago, eight years ago, man. what would you have been raking in? <laughs> man, we t it's crazy because we like in the group chat and we talk about it all the time, but right. I just remember uh, the catwalks, how many people had the little juice on hanging up with juice when he was coming in there. And like you, uh, when we were talking about earlier about me doing my G-Sock, I for sure would have tried to do the end I did with the G-Sock for sure. But yeah, man, I, I'm just happy that like, those guys right now are able to benefit off their like you know what I'm saying? Because so many people around the world watch college football, so I think they should be benefiting on it. What do you think about all this success out here and over the last several years with UK just cleaning up in bowl games and getting to play on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day? Man, it's it's such a blessing, man, to see these guys like just get so much better over the years, you know what I'm saying? I know it had to like start with us, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get guys to come in and, and start something for them to become a success. So Seeing Coach Stoops, I was talking to Coach Stoops earlier, saying I like coaches six straight, huh? Six straight bowl games, and I was just like, man, you the man, and it's just it's just such a blessing to see them guys go out here and be so good and be, and be talked about. That's why I love so much. He, he asked you about Nell. Now the transfer portal is real popular. You're almost like a pioneer, <laughs> man. It's kind of like I was like that last guy to like go through what I had to go through before that whole transfer portal had to go through. Now, even though you didn't finish your career here, you're still back here. What does it just say about the team and the culture that? Uh, you know, they're still welcoming you back with, with open arms. Man, it's just so much love. Like, to this day, I still say Coach Stoops is like one of the realest people like I ever met, you know what I'm saying? And then the strength coach is Coach Ed, who's a guy that like, I probably say I was around most as my time in Kentucky. And just seeing him embrace me, I know I did a little tweet to just uh, see if they let me come to the game. But it was it's just, it's just so much love that they like embraced me to come back out here because of what I've done when I was here. And with the transfers too, like they've had a ton of success bringing guys in and yeah. they're you know I don't think they were kicking you on the way out the door how, how does a coach Stoops handle that that transfer situation um that's that's a, that's a really good question I don't know it's just it's just pretty much just sitting there and just seeing like what a player feels and feel like he's going through and just having somebody just to just to be there for him you know what I'm saying it could be a time where like a guy can go in to a situation and then once he gets there you know what I'm saying he's probably not receiving what he thought he was going to receive mm -hmm. so it's just more so it's just like uh, Coach Stoops having examples of guys coming in also to help him bring other guys in and also, like I said, just being there for them. I, I know it's hindsight, but you think if, if this offense was, was doing what it did this year, you would have stuck around for another year? Man, that's a great question. Man, I know me and G would have been putting on some crazy numbers with the offense. I ain't even going to lie because, as you can see, like the quarterback over there is real good. Man. Mm -hmm. You ever um, – I know you played against a lot of good dudes, but do you ever watch Lamar on Sundays and just be like <laughs> – to beat him. <laughs> hey, that's so funny because I'm, I'm one of Lamar's biggest fans, but it is something that I like to brag about, though. Like, hey, I, I beat him when he won the Heisman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. What's your prediction on the game? And give me a score. And how's it play out? Oh, man, that's a uh, good question. You know, we got SEC going against Big Ten. You know, Big Ten going to try to try to come in and feel like they can control the game by running the ball. You know, we're going to stop all that. So I probably got – I'm gonna go 27-20. Okay. I'm a little yeah. closer than you. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>